Once you have given the name of the device, specified the age and chosen the avatar, it's time to start the setup process. It may look a bit intimidating, but it's easier than it seems. Kids locks need these permissions and set up stages to carry out parental controls efficiently. So hit next step. On the second screen, grant Kislox administrator access, so it can lock down the device. Tap Let's Go, and the app will direct you to the device settings. Here tap Activate. We are on step 3 now. This step lets Kislox use overlays on the phone to make app blocking extra effective. Tap Let's Do It. Again, the app redirects you to the native device settings, and here swipe the toggle to the right to allow this permission. Now step 4. It's time to enable accessibility. This will prevent app removal. Tap Go to Accessibility, then tap Keys Locks and swipe the toggle to the right. Another pop-up message will appear asking for additional permission. So tap OK. Get back to the previous menu to go on setting up the device. Step 5 is enabling usage access. This is needed to track app activity and block the device settings. Choose Let's do it. The device opens the settings where you may need to scroll down to find keys locks. Tap on it, and on the next screen, swipe the toggle to the right to permit usage access. Step 6 is allowing notification access. Activate it to make sure app notifications can be used to bypass the restrictions you set for your child. Tap Got it. Find keys locks in the list and swipe the toggle to the right. In the appearing pop-up message, tap Allow. Now step 7. Content blocking. This step gives Kislox access to the device, telephone, and storage functions. Content blocking also requires the VPN to be enabled. Tap Activate. On the pop-up message, first tap OK, then Allow. This is step 8. Location. This is used to locate the device. If you don't need this feature, you can skip it in the upper right-hand corner. To set it up, tap Activate. On the pop-up message, tap Allow. We are almost there. The final step is to set auto start and battery settings. Tap Activate. Use the back button to finish your device setup. Tap OK, got it. It is highly recommended to allow Kislox's auto start to be able to run in the background and perform its functions non-stop. To do so, open your device settings app, scroll down to permissions, auto start, find kids locks and swipe the toggle to the right. The child's device has been added to your Kislox account and is now fully under your control. At any moment, either from the child's device or your parent device, you can open Kislox, enter your Kislox pin, and choose the device in your device's list to set the desired restrictions.